Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create wings in Blender. Now, the first thing we're going to do is clear the scene. So, select everything, press A and X to delete it all. Uh, next, we're going to create a cylinder. Now, before we jump into things, we're going to lower the vertices to 12. And I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. I do tutorials like this all the time. You can learn a lot of cool new things from me. And also, if you do attempt to make these or need any help or anything, join my Discord server. The link's below. Um, tweet me your creations, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So you create a cylinder. We're going to lower the vertices to 12, and we're going to move it to the middle. So Alt-G. And we're going to rotate it on the Y-axis 90 degrees. Next, we're going to mirror it. So the mirror modifier allows us to create the same object twice without having to redo it. So we're going to reflect on the z-axis. So go to axis z. Or is it y? Yeah, axis y. And um, it creates two of the same object for us. So now we can create the wings without having to make two. Next thing we're going to do is rotate it on the z-axis 45 degrees actually type negative 45 and we have kind of a curved look to it from here we're going to scale it up and we're going to start extruding out so we're going to press alt e and extrude along the vertex normals and scale it uh, in and we're going to shape it kind of like wings i'm just eyeballing this it's not going to be perfect but just go for the shape you want for your wings i'm going to make them come up maybe extrude out bring it up more just until you're happy with the shape of it. This is just going to be the part that holds them and then we'll do the webbing afterwards. Maybe scale it in towards the bottom, just like that. So you guys can see here, we have kind of this shape going on. I'm going to round out this part. So control B to bevel it and that just makes it look more natural as well as I'm going to collapse the edges at the bottom and it comes to a sharp point for us. The next thing I'm going to do is set the shading to smooth and that's our brush shape. Now all we need is our webbing that will connect it and we're good to go. So I'm going to apply this modifier and just move it to the center and we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to use a plane. So just move your plane to the center and add another modifier on the y-axis and from here we're going to start editing it. Rotating it on the x-axis we're going to rotate it negative 90 degrees and then we're going to rotate on the z-axis negative 45 just like that first angle that we did. And from here we're just going to shape our wings however we want them. I want mine to come down maybe spike up a few times uh, just select this edge and press E to extrude and we're going to keep shaping this um, throughout the wing however we want it to look. You can use the knife tool to add any cuts you want to the wing, uh, whatever you want to do. Keep in mind, we're trying to get a rough shape right now. It does not have to be perfect. Uh, to make it easier on yourself, you can also pull up a reference. And then I'm just going to drag this down here and make it line up. Like so. Here we can shape it further. We're going to use our loop cut and slide tool and we're going to make a few cuts through here and we're going to bring up the bottom again through here and bring up the bottom and through here and bring up the bottom. Just like so. 
even bring it to kind of a point here. And this is kind of flat, so we're just going to cut through here and drag it out and give it kind of a rounded shape to it. Like that. From here, we're going to set our shading to smooth, and we're going to turn on auto smooth, and we're going to select uh, all the parts that stick out, and we're going to set the edges to sharp, and that just gives it um, some ruffled looks to our wings just like that, while remaining smooth. Just like that. And finally, we're going to apply that mirror modifier and we're gonna solidify it. And what solidify does is it takes it from a plane and it gives it thickness. So just bring that out. Just like so. And we're going to apply the solidification. There we have our wings. I'm going to um, join them together. So select both and press Control J. Or is it Alt J? I think it's Alt J. And from here, we're going to make the texture. So I want mine to be, let's do um, a dark blue and then a light blue on the wings. So we're gonna create our color palette right here. We're gonna go to image, canvas size, and we're gonna set it to 256 by 256, that's the size of hats on Roblox, the texture for hats. And we're going to add a color palette and we're going to set the gradient colors. We're gonna do a dark blue and it's gonna fade into a lighter blue. Just keep playing around so you get a color that you're happy with. It does not have to be perfect. Something like that. And again, on the bottom here, we're going to do a lighter blue. Just repeating that same process as before. And fade into a lighter color. Um, just trying to find a color I'm happy with. You guys can be any color you want. I think I like that. So we're going to use these two colors to texture our wings. And I'm going to save as and then a PNG. For everybody wondering, the application I just use is um, Autodesk and Sketchbook. So here we have our wings. And we're going to go to View, Perspective and Ortho, or press Notepad 5 on your keyboard. And we're going to go to our side view, just like this. From here, we're going to open up another editor type, and we're going to open a UV image editor. Next, we're going to drag in our color palette. Here's where the fun starts. We start texturing our wings. So I'm going to go to view, and then front. Um, actually go to right, that way you can see both at the same time. And we're going to press U to unwrap and project from view. From here, we're going to just select these two, and we're going to um, rotate one, negative 90 degrees. Actually, we'll leave it the way it is. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees where it's flipped over, and we're going to scale it to where the gradient starts as the darker part closer to the wings, and it gets lighter towards the end of the wings. Again, just scale it just like so. Use G to grab and S to scale. Next, we're going to grab the bottom, the wings, so just select both and press Control L. We're gonna rotate it negative 90 degrees, actually 90 degrees. And again, we're gonna make the gradient on the wings start from the bottom and go to the top, just like this. Now if we look at the texture. All right guys, now that we have our wings nice and textured, like you guys can see here, we're just gonna do some last finishing touches. 
Um, so as you guys can see, we have some of these sections where um, we set some parts to sharp and other parts are smooth. We're going to use that to our advantage and create a nice looking texture on each of them. So we're going to select every other one just like so, and this is completely optional. We're going to scale it in on the X, and as you guys can see, that adds some contrast between each section of the wings. So again, select every other, and then scale it in on the X axis on your texture. Um, that's the final step to our wings. Now all we gotta do is export it to Roblox Studio. So what we're gonna do is file, export, wavefront, or .obj, and then save your wings. And then we're going to open up Studio, and we're going to import them. So I'll show you guys how to do that here. Opening up Studio, like I'm doing here, we're going to right click, insert object, mesh part, and where it says mesh ID under the properties panel, we're going to open up our wings, just like so. And as you guys can see, our wings got imported into Roblox Studio. If your wings imported and they're missing a texture, all you have to do is go to create, decals, and then upload the texture that you made for your wings to the decals, like so, and name it. So we're going to call it wings texture, and upload it. Next, we're going to click the texture, copy the ID and we're gonna paste it in the texture ID section of the mesh. And that should fix any missing textures before you guys even ask in the comments. But yeah, that's a tutorial on how to make wings for your character, for your pets, whatever you choose to use them for. Um, if you guys found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I upload tutorials all the time. And if you have any requests, let me know in the comments and I'll try to make a tutorial for that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.